We had a good half year financially and operationally with sharp increases in revenues and profitability, but also in cash flows too. Gross refinery margins at our Ravadina refinery were up significantly and the refinery continued to process far more crude oil than its nameplate capacity. We have also taken a big step towards our target of 1 million barrels per day of global refinery capacity thanks to the acquisition of the Stanlow refinery in the UK. The Stanlow deal completed on 31st July and we have already begun the process of integrating it into the rest of the business. In power, we had excellent availability between 93% and 100% at our existing plants. And we have pushed on with the construction of our growth projects so that by March 2012, we'll have brought another 2,910 megawatts on steam, taking our total generation capacity to 4,510 megawatts. Another significant step forward came with the successful 550 million US dollar convertible bond issue, which we have completed earlier this year. Financially, our performance looked strong in the off year to June. EBITDA, that's earnings before interest payments, tax and depreciation, is the key measure which we and the investors look at. This was up by 49% to $478 million, while pre-tax profit was up 80% at $279 million. Meanwhile, operating cash flow rose by 129% to $583 million. We also saw encouraging uplifts in several other key areas. Wadino's current price gross refinery margin were $8.30 per barrel. That's up 38% compared with the half of 2010. This increase was thanks to raising demand for fuels, particularly in Asia. Meanwhile, in the power business, EBITDA was up by 9% to $108 million, with healthy margins of 64% against 54% in the same period last year. I should mention that around 81% of current revenues in the power business depend only on availability of the plant. So overall, it was a good performance in financial terms. We have made significant progress with our construction projects this year in both power and at the Wadina refinery. By the end of March 12, we'll have completed projects which combined represent almost $5 billion of investment. In power by March, we'll have completed three power stations with 2,910 megawatt of capacity almost tripling our current installed capacity to 4,510 megawatt. These three new plants are the Salaya 1 and Wadinar P2 power station. Beyond this, we have another seven power station in construction, which will take our total capacity to 9,670 megawatt and which will all be completed by March 2014. In oil, by end of 2011, we will also have completed the phase one of the Wadina refinery. This will increase our refinery capacity at the site to 375,000 barrels per day from 300,000 barrels per day now. It will also increase complexity from 6.1 to 11 point weight, which will have the effect of improving margins by allowing us to process some of the world's heaviest and cheapest crudes and turn them into top quality fuels suitable for international markets. Together, completion of all these projects will transform our cash flows and EBITDA. One of the key developments of the year so far has been the acquisition of Stanlow. 
the UK's second largest oil refinery which was completed on July 31st. This is a high quality refinery which we have acquired for an excellent price of $315 million and which is a very good fit with our refining strategy. It will give us valuable options when market conditions are right to export fuel products from our Wadina refinery to the UK, particularly diesel and jet fuel, where the UK has a significant shortfall. Stanlo also takes us substantially closer to our objective of a global refining capacity of 1 million barrels daily. In fact, by end of this year, we will be close to 750,000 barrels a day capacity. We have begun a 100-day program at Stanlo to integrate the refinery into SR Energy and to identify and prioritize the key operational improvements we will need to make at the refinery over the short to medium term to improve efficiency, enhance throughput, and optimize our crude and product slate. We are looking forward to making a difference at Stanlo, which we believe is in a good position to thrive in the UK and European market. As you will know, we have had delays in receiving approvals for three coal blocks. The Mahan block, which will supply our Mahan power project, and the Ashok Karta block and Chakla block to supply to our Tori power project. However, out of our total generation capacity of 4,510 megawatt, which will be operational by March 12, there is only one plant, that is Mahan, where we have some uncertainty regarding fuel supply and fuel pricing risk. In any case, we are optimistic that the coal block clearances will go through not least because continued strong economic growth in India depends on dissolving the current 10% peak shortfall of power generation relative to demand. The empowered group of ministers which is overseeing decisions on forest clearances for these coal blocks is due to meet again later this week. Once we get a go ahead, we'll need around 15 to 18 months to satisfy all conditions and produce our first coal. I should emphasize that we have all arrangements in place to source temporary supplies of coal to fuel the power stations until these mines are producing. The temporary coal will primarily come from coal linkages and e-auction. We are also awaiting clearances to begin mining at our coal block in Indonesia which will be used to provide fuel for our power project at Salaya in Gujarat state. Here, we are also optimistic of getting clearances, but in the meantime, we have also backup contacts in place to secure coal for Salaya from other sources. Our focus now is on delivering the projects we currently have in construction, particularly the Vadina Refinery Phase 1 expansion and the three power stations due to be completed by March next year. These are some of the biggest projects we have in our agenda and completing them will transform the company cash flows and profitability in future. Beyond that, we need to complete the Wadina Refinery Optimization Project, which will lift the capacity to 405,000 barrels per day by September next year. We have another seven power projects in India, which will complete by March 2014, and which will take our capacity to 9,670 megawatts. And we have the integration of Stanlo to push on with and development of our upstream gas and oil blocks both in India and elsewhere. So there is a lot to do and it is important that we remain focused in order to deliver all this safely and successfully for all our stakeholders.